We are in the seats here at Alphond Arena with Mitch Fossier, who joins us, a senior with the Black Bear hockey team. Uh, let's, I guess, start with Mitch Mitchell. Which is the best way to go? You've you've heard your name pronounced a number of ways here, right? Yeah, normally normally go by Mitch, but there's there's a select few who call me Mitchell. <laughs> Only when you're in trouble. D definitely my mother. Yeah, that's for sure. But yeah, and just some random friends. But that's most most people definitely call me Mitch. All right. So uh, you, you grew up in Georgia. How do you end up? Georgia's not a hockey state. I mean, really. I mean, I, I guess the Atlanta Thrashers, but how do you end up playing hockey? Yeah, so my dad grew up playing hockey, um, and he actually played at Yale for a little bit. So uh, he loves the sport, and he got me on skates pretty early. Um, and it's it's not a hockey state, but it's actually growing significantly. Um, and there's there's enough of it to be able to play and, and to get going and, and, you know, kind of start up on, on you know, through your childhood and, and even into your teenage years. What's the, the level of competition like? I mean, you had to leave to go play juniors and kind of see better competition, right? Is it... You said it's growing. What's the kind of the level of competition in Georgia? Well, so the team that I played for, there, there's two, uh, you know, bigger programs. One's called the Atlanta Fire, and one's or it used to be called the TPH Thunder. I think now it's under the Predators organization. Um, so I played for both of those growing up. Uh, but the Thunder, now the Predators organization, pulled kids from Georgia, Florida, Alabama, Tennessee. So you'd practice in your own states with the kids on the team there, and then on the weekends that you didn't have games, you'd practice as a team. Um, so it's kind of a weird format, but it allowed us to put together a pretty good team. Um, and uh, you know, I think one year we uh, lost lost in the semis at the you know in the AAA Nationals. So we put together some really good teams, um, and it really helps because you can you know you're playing with kids that are you know at, at a elite level for that age, um, and you get to play against good competition. So I mean, it's difficult and it's a lot of travel, but it, it worked. So your dad went to uh, Yale. So you have some Northeast ties. How did you end up coming to Maine and, and choosing the Black Bears? Yeah, so actually one of the coaches, one of our former coaches here, Jay Leach, uh, was coaching for the Thrashers and Capitals, and uh, he started helping out with, with one of my Thunder teams. So I got to know him through there. Um, he kind of kept track on me, and, and a couple of years later he reached out and said, why don't you come up for a visit? So I uh, came up, fell in love with it, um, and pretty shortly after I think they offered. So I took it up and, and couldn't have been happier. All right, so I've never done it, but what's it like when that student section really gets going and it's loud in here and they're on your side? I mean, what's it feel like in this place? Yeah, you know, I've I've had the privilege of playing in front of some like pretty big crowds just over over my years of hockey, but uh, there's genuinely nothing like a sold out Alphonse. Um, I think you know just three three weeks ago now against UNH, I, we won in overtime, and I don't think I've ever heard the building that loud. So I mean, it's it's unbelievably special, and it's one of the you know absolute privileges of being able to play here. This like truly is. I I, I can't imagine. At least I haven't played in front of a, a you know another crowd in college hockey that's as electric as this place. When this place is sold out, it's just bananas. Is there a place in in Hockey East that kind of similar to it? And and what's the worst place in Hockey East to play? <laughs> I don't know if I. They're not say watching. That. Yeah. They're not watching. Yeah. Uh, the best place is probably for us. It's probably playing in like we played in UNH last year. Um, and just with the rivalry there, you know, they sell out too, and they have a nice place. Uh, you know, it's not the Alphon, but it's it's still it's a lot of fun to be able to play in front of that many people that are rooting against you. It's, it's fun to be able to show them up. So that's probably my favorite place to play outside of here, uh, in the worst in Hockey East. Uh, you can go nationally. That's fine. Nationally, oh, but <laughs> well, we just played last week, and we played uh, St. Lawrence. But <laughs> their their rink's being built right now, so we had to play in a D3 rink, and that was that was a little change up for sure. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, a little bit different. Uh, all right, so off the ice, uh, n nothing about hockey anymore. So reading on your background, you play, produce, release music. I mean, wh walk me through that. How did you get involved in it? Yeah, so I had neighbors growing up uh, that were pretty good musicians um, and just kind of watching them. I, I started to get the bug, and I re really just wanted to start start playing. So my parents bought me a guitar. Um, I started learning, <coughs> excuse me, um, but it wasn't crazy about it. And then I started, like, I heard about recording. I was like, oh, that'd be cool to start recording. And I think that really kind of sparked my interest back into it. So when I was probably 13, I started to play the guitar a lot more, start singing and writing songs, and uh, started learning how to record and, and produce. So uh, I got hooked on that. And, you know, outside of hockey, that's uh, that's probably the other you know, other thing that I love to do most. And you've actually released music. I mean, there's there's people can get your productions. Yeah, so I have uh, a three-song EP out right now uh, that I released, I think, after my freshman year. Um, so, yeah, released that. I um, had the privilege of, of having a bunch of uh, really good musicians play on it um, and kind of add their own their own piece to the puzzle. Um, and then this past summer, I actually recorded an album, too, that I'm working on right now. So I'm, I'm hoping to have that done um, at the beginning of next year. 
So what type of style of music? What uh, what, what type are people listening to? Um, this is this is the question I always struggle with. Uh, I mean, I'd say it's it's rooted in singer songwriter. You know, songs that are uh, built on an acoustic guitar, and then you know, kind of branch out from there. Uh, but I'd say that you know, folk influences and and kind of uh, you know, alternative rock kind of sort of. I don't know. <laughs> do you ever get a chance to play out around here? Do you ever go out and and do live stuff? Yeah, I played. I think in my time here, I played one show, so I'm a music minor, so I had to fulfill performance credits, and they let me play a show here. Um, so I played a show on campus, and it was actually really fun. Um, and then I actually played a fraternity formal one time. <laughs> they asked me to play, and I, I gave in. So those are the only two times I'm normally pretty uh, pretty busy here with hockey, so I don't get a ton of time to, to do that. Most of the, uh, the time I play live, it's normally back home over, over summer when I have some more time, but I've gotten to do it a few times. What's it like to produce your own album? Do you listen to it with, this is my baby, this is my thing, or are you really uh, critical of it and think, oh, I should have done this, I should have done that? I mean, how do you kind of look at it when you're producing and putting that all together? Yeah, uh, it's certainly frustrating at times, um, and pr probably both. Uh, I mean, I'm super proud of the work that I've done, but also, you know, there's days where I listen to it and I'm like, this sucks. Like, <laughs> this just sounds awful right now. What am I doing wrong? Um, so it just kind of depends on the day. Um, and it's hard to kind of balance it. And if there's times where it's like, okay, it's probably best if I just step away from this and come back to it when, when I have fresh ears. Because it is weird. It's weird to listen to yourself and what you're doing. And, and you're, you know, most people are, and I think I am pretty hypercritical. Um, and, Especially too the way I write. It's not like I have a full band at my disposal. I do have friends that are talented musicians, and and by the end it, it becomes a full band through the recording. But through the whole process, kind of trying to write the other parts of the song to kind of come together, um, you know. So making sure everything's cohesive and works together uh, is a little tricky sometimes um, and poses some problems. But I mean, all in all, it's really fun and, and I really enjoy it. Um, and I'm I'm proud of you know what I've done so far and and yeah. Perfect world goes on, and after the hockey career uh, is done, do you go into singing? Do you go into playing music? Do you go into production, uh, or does music just stay as a hobby? What 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 kind of does the future look like? Yeah, I mean, in a perfect world, I'd love to make a career out of music. I'd love to be able to, you know, write songs and, and tour and play shows and um, be able to do that with with some of my good buds. Um, I think that'd be a lot of fun. So I don't know if it's possible, but I'd certainly probably tr try my best to to fulfill that dream. How hard is it? Is that kind of a release, though? I mean, to balance with hockey, is it so different? Yeah, absolutely. I think, especially right now during the season, uh, you know, it's nice when, when you go home after a game and maybe you're a little frustrated and you kind of just pick up a guitar and, and kind of, you know, forget about the rest of the stuff. So, yeah, there's times where it's absolutely a release. And, uh, you know, there's other times when I'm recording and I've been recording all day where it's like, you know, I'd rather be playing hockey right now. So it goes back and forth. Just, you know, whatever I'm doing more of, it seems like the other one's more of a release. Just play guitar and sing? Do you play other instruments, too? Uh, I'd say those are the primary things that I do. It's probably what I'm best at, but, um, you know, I can pick up a handful of instruments and make something come out of them. Uh, you know, I love to play the piano. I wouldn't, I'm not good at it. Um, but it's fun to, like, I've started to write on it a little bit just because it has a, you know, a different voicing. Um, and, you know, most stringed instruments I can, just because of the similarities of a guitar, you can kind of pick them up and, and do something with them. So I enjoy doing it, but, you know, Guitar and singing, or if you know a serious musician were asking me what I play, I'd say just guitar, just just and singing. So, but you know, I enjoy. I, you know, I'm fortunate enough to have a handful of instruments laying around the house, so I pick them up from time to time and mess around. And it's fun; you can get different stuff coming out of them. What's the uh, the better reaction or the better result for you? What gives a better reaction to you? Scoring a goal here and hearing the crowd go, or hearing people react and respond to your music? I don't know. It's so different. Um, just the whole dynamic is really different because obviously scoring a goal, it's, it's very in the moment and, you know, like the adrenaline rush of scoring here at the Alphon, you know, in front of in front of that student sections, it's, you know, pretty electrifying. Um, is, is that going to make it in there? <laughs> um, uh, but no, I mean, it's also too, to, you know, get a compliment, you know, on something that I've worked so long for because, you know, these songs take... Uh, months and months to kind of come together. Um, so, you know, it's, it's, you know, really fulfilling as well. Awesome. Thanks, Mitch. Appreciate yeah, it. Appreciate it. Mitch Foster joining us here in the seats at the Alphon Arena on Ticket TV.